notice everything you quit and not to think folks are dumb for doing things that you did when just the day before you were sitting there with them eating meat smoking stickies listening to Eminem and wheels tend to turn when you think back on your past life before you learned exactly what it meant to you to act right now it's like you're the only one who focuses and notices facts and doesn't act as if emotionless perhaps you just lack the apathy with an aggressive message you evangelize passively you thought about Hand and spoke a fashion that would grab them and hold action was provoked. You folks got to passion when your passion was invoked. It just goes to show you really aren't what you hold close. And mistakes are amplified, analyzing everyone's life because you're excited. It's hard not to notice everything you quit and not to think folks are dumb for doing things that you did in a place where everyone's mistakes are amplified. Analyzing everyone's life because you're excited. It's hard not to notice everything you quit and not to think folks are dumb. Yo, I once dated a girl who hated me. We went to eat, drank coffee, ate treats, and smoked a cigarette she gave me. And coming with she got smart, quit the nicotine, kept the habit myself. Imagine she got sick of me. Once I can't believe you smoke shit. You know that shit will kill you. She throw fits, addicted and hopeless. Disguising judgment is desire to teach. Walking lines between shared beliefs. I despise the type. I used to be of those same vine, but not as right. It's an easy route to take. It's an easy cloud to lie on. Judgment in your mind defined by the one you cry on. You need to know your audience. Think before you speak and speak less and read less. Sweet points when you're defeated. A movement isn't something that you beat with. It's something that you live in hopes other folks will see it in a place where everyone's mistakes are amplified. Analyzing everyone's life because you're excited. It's hard not to notice everything you quit and not to think folks are dumb for doing things that you did in a place where everyone's mistakes are amplified. Analyzing everyone's life because you're excited. It's hard not to notice everything you quit and not to think folks are dumb for doing things that you did. That was graceful. Graceful end of the song, huh? Yeah. Hey, thank you guys. I appreciate you clapping. So, um, yeah, this next song, Chris made the beat for it. Anybody ever have any struggles with addiction? Anything like that? No, probably not. You guys got your shit together, I'm sure. No, coffee. Addicted to coffee, cigarettes, fucking heroin, meth. No? I'm just messing. <laughs> All right. No, none of that. We don't do that. We all got our shit together. Molly. Molly. People be liking that Molly. I, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, go ahead and drop that beat, Chris. We're going to do this. This one's called Victim to My Vices. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are a good crowd. I like you guys already. Never had a crowd like this in Roseville. <laughs> I'm a victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind As I'm coping with the plague that's the root of my kind I'm feeling trapped in this house Trapped in this house Trapped in this house I'm a victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind As I'm coping with the plague that's the root of my kind I'm feeling trapped in this house Abusing my prime My addictive personality is a piece of who I am I'm a victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind As I'm coping with the plague that's the root of my kind I'm trapped in this house I just light another cigarette and brew a pot of coffee A victim to my vices, vicariously stalking my every move Walking in my shoes, I feel like I lack control It seems like my grip is loose, it's a pill to wake up It's a pill to go to sleep, it's a pill to give me strength But it's a pill to keep me weak, but I don't think that Feels like life is covered in shrink wrap They say to get a grip, but I'm still sitting with the weak grasp They can say what they want, I can think what I think Though it seems often I'm wrong, I know I'm weak when I drink And I'm still keeping it all from all the people I meet It's as simple as a song, I just think when I speak Cause I don't wanna have to go there Left alone on a road that leads nowhere Left with just the hope that I can play a show there I pack my bags and hit the road now as if I don't care Victim to my vices, losing my mind I'm coping with the plague, just the root of my kind I'm feeling trapped in this house, abusing my prime My addictive personality's a piece of who I'm I'm a victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind I'm coping with the plague, just the root of my kind I'm trapped in this house, abusing my prime 
mission accomplished just to wake up To put on my game face like girls apply their makeup And I'll admit both lives are fake as shit Except I'll pick apart the lessons within and take them with me Was speaking lies from my mind the time it hit me Alive at 25, feel like I'm going on 50 And the organ in my chest is working shitty Lungs resemble chimneys, death is close enough to kiss me And if I died, I'd be surprised if they would miss me Most people in my history were just witness to me slipping The rock that I've been gripping ever since I found the crippling art of escape that proved to be as fake as modern Christians I guess I'm at an age when life sucks People my age say her life's great but mine's fucked I guess I'm at an age when life sucks People my age say her life's great but I'm A victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind As I'm coping with the plague that's the root of my kind I'm trapped in this house, abusing my prime My addictive personality's a piece of who I'm A victim to my vices and I'm losing my mind As I'm coping with the plague that's the root of my kind I'm trapped in this house Y'all can clap now. Go ahead and clap for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and kill that, Chris. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. Anybody who knows me knows I have this habit of coming to shows extremely unprepared and do things like forget lyrics. So I just want to let you guys know that we're in this together. If I mess up, you mess up too. So, you know, root for me. Root for me, right? I hope you guys are having a good time. Um, so, basically, um, anybody like cats? Any cat people in the house? There's a cat person back there. I love cats, right? Totally love cats. So, uh, recently, we got, uh, my girlfriend and I adopted a little five-week-old kitten. And uh, his name is Howard, named after Howard Zinn, if anybody knows who Howard Zinn is. Um, we were bottle feeding him, and he bit off the little rubber nipple and swallowed it. It got lodged in his small intestine, and he needed emergency surgery to survive. He was going to die. We brought him to the vet. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do the surgery for $1,500 for sure. And we're like, we don't have $1,500. What are we going to do? So uh, they also said it was going to be a 50-50 chance he would survive if they did the surgery. But we're like, you know, this is a cat, and we love cats. So we did the surgery. Um, it was a super cool situation. Situation. The Roseville SPCA loaned us the money to do the surgery. The vet did it for $360 instead of the original $1,500 quote. The doctor did the surgery on her lunch break because they were fully booked that day and it was an emergency. Then she brought him home that night and nursed him back to life. So that is the story of my cat Howard. Howard, the kitty who lives. Give it up for Howard real quick, please. Howard appreciates that. Before that, I had another cat named Chomsky, named after Noam Chomsky, if you know who Noam Chomsky is. And he was the best cat I ever had, but he got hit by a car and died, like, uh, six months ago. I know what you're thinking, I should be at home in bed mourning my cat six months later. But, um... I got over it, it's a good thing. I wrote a song for Chomsky, kind of a day in the life of uh, Chomsky the cat. So, uh, Chris, go ahead and drop that beat, and we're gonna talk about Chomsky for a minute. There aren't many rules in my house. The cat runs the couch, open door policy, in and out. Swallowing canaries with a pigeon in his mouth. Looking proud in his free will to prey upon a mouse. Wise enough to have gray hair at birth He was born with the beard to milk the womb for what it's worth A cat in a cradle that moves as if to flirt Navigating treetops, crop a bird from its perch Trace learned when allowed to face thunder To fill his own plate with the mistakes of others He lost a brother, his mother disappeared Seeking comfort found vulnerabilities inside my beard As a nomadic being from one city to the next Turning princesses to queens Adopted a brother, took them under his wing and taught him one thing or another to the wonders of routine. But what happened was completely unexpected. The doors crack, the cats are amongst mice. Free to go to war and free to risk their lives. Outside's a war zone, it's hard to survive when the whole zone's defeated by cars that want your life. Still, he probably tempt him out of spite, taking journeys overnight, still further than I would drive. Holding down a territory half a mile wide, meeting up with the strays, game with his pride. Car sightings was boss after dark, and he knew he shouldn't leave before midnight if he was smart. The rats were out tonight, the trains weren't far, so he left a little early and got hit by a car. He wore his number on his neck, someone called the next morning to pay their respects. 
And you never really think about the teacher falling victim to 